In good health today, the sense of touch is something many of us really take for granted, but for amputees, it's another loss associated with their injury. Now researchers in Utah are hoping to change that with a new high-tech prosthetic arm that's 15 years in the making. We reach out and touch someone when we love them, and getting that sensory feedback is what allows us to have our sense of the environment and to some extent even our sense of self. It's the ability to hold a grape without smashing it, being able to shake someone's hand and feel the squeeze in return. This prosthesis and all of the work behind it makes those small moments possible. What we're doing is trying to communicate with the body and the body's natural language. And by doing that, we saw enhanced benefits with sensory feedback. We're not quite there yet, but the sense of touch and the sense of movement that we're able to recreate uh, does seem very real, although not quite as rich as what the biological realities are. The team implants small wires in the patient's bicep and forearm, which communicate back and forth with the new hand. Right now I'm controlling this with these slide bars that allow us to kind of move the individual fingers one by one. But what we would ultimately be doing is interpreting this information from the, the body and so as a person or an amputee thinks about moving their hand, we would be recording those signals and intuitively providing them with control. The team is waiting for FDA approval on another round of clinical trials, but they're moving closer. This is something that people will be able to see in their lifetime. The arm is named Luke after the Star Wars character Luke Skywalker. And right now it's still being tested out in the lab. But the research team is hoping that by 2021, the participants in the study will be able to test their Luke arms at home.